Hey everybody, AZ80s Girl here with you, and today we are talking about spectra. If you don't look, these don't look familiar to you. These are actually called the spectra line of toys. Uh, they're actually the Shimmerons from Mattel. So I actually have an awesome catalog that I got uh, from Mattel. It's a Mattel Fashion Dolls catalog from 67 and 97. So this has great information about most of these uh, Mattel dolls that I do have coming up for you. So these are the Shimmerons. Um, if you, I don't know if you remember seeing them on the box, I'll show you real quickly, but they came in a box like this, all right over here in this corner, right here. And they uh, had spectra across the line right, right in front of the box. And it's lacy, spacey, out of this world. So, so they, this is mainly the slogan they used to describe the futuristic spectral line that came out in um, 87 of the Mattel catalogs. Um, they thought that she would be a hit, but it was discontinued within a year. They didn't even make the 88 catalog for some reason. They did not know why. Um, they did say that they were priced at $16 each, which were above the other Barbies, uh, Mattel Barbie dolls. So they just thought maybe they were the head of their time uh, doing the different spacey metallic bodies that they do have. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go over each one we have here. So we're going to start with uh, the main girl, who is Spectra. And Spectra here is the pink doll, pink haired doll. And they are full of lace. So... They're just full of lace. She is missing. My stuff isn't totally complete. I got this off a lot. But their bodies are completely metallic. Um, I have her on a stand. Um, their wrists and their ankles do not bend at all. But the rest of their knees and their elbows and stuff do. Her head's pretty tight. They barely move that. And you sometimes make a lot of sound. They are able to pose unless they get a little floppy. But they're in a sparkly, lacy outfit. So let's see, they are the dolls from outer space uh, with shiny metallic looking poseable body, shimmery hair, sparkly makeup, and fanciful fashions. Along with her, with Spark, her metallic domed dog, <laughs> Spectra and her friends travel the galaxy on their adventures. So they're 11 and a half inch inches. She's got three girlfriends and her one uh, boyfriend there. And then we have, I have, they had 12 boxed fashions, which I don't have. I just have a couple pieces of. Uh, there was a mail away shiv a shimmer on travel kit uh, that was available. And another thing that was available that they never released. <laughs> so this is Spectra again. She has her lace, uh, very 80s, 87-ish um, look here. And that's the back of her hair. It goes pretty long. Um, there was two different versions. One Spectra came with earrings and one that did not. Uh, she actually has earrings, but she's just missing one. So she has her makeup on her face. And this is Spectra. She has lace uh, stockings on. Each of them do. And I'll go eat over the other ones as well. So that is Spectra herself. Her dog I have is Spark. And he was supposed to be wound up. You can wind him up. Uh, when you tap his head, he's supposed to roll around. But th obviously, this doesn't work. So at this point, you can tap his head. He is able to close his eyes and open his eyes. And that's really all I can get him to do. This will actually t turn him to whatever way you want him to go. There's wheels on the bottom here. So unfortunately, this one doesn't do what it's supposed to do. What's new? Being in the 80s, right? So the next girlfriend we'll go over is uh, Astra Gold. And Astra Gold, oh, I want to go over one quick thing with Spectra. So each of the dolls uh, came with a little... Um, a little, let me see here. They are uh, no, 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 no. from the planet Shimmer on Journey to Earth. So they want to find out why the Earth is number one for teenage fun. In the process, they are discovering skateboards, hot dogs, rock music, and shopping malls. All right, so she's got her outfit, and they each came with a Shimmer on collector card. And on the card, it reveals her favorite, each person's favorite food. Um, so her favorite food for Spectra is Man in the Moon burgers, and her favorite pastime is stirring up excitement on Earth. Pretty interesting. So I think that's all for Spectra. So, okay, so Astra Gold. So Astra Gold, for her, uh, her Shimmer on Collector Call reveals that her favorite food is space chips and dip, and her favorite pastime is making new Earth friends. <laughs> so this is Astra Gold. Uh, she's in, she does have like a all metallic body as usual, uh, but she's in bluish um, stockings, lacy stockings and dress, and a blue head, um, little lace for her hair 
and then yellow shoes. So that's Astra Goals. And her box, on the top of her box, it says Greatest Party Giver in the Galaxy. So that's her, and Spectra actually was the leader of the Shimmerons, the space star. So the next, And then they did release um, another Spectra with uh, the, the robot dog in, a, in this kit, a deluxe set. So you may see some boxes um, on eBay or wherever you find them. That Spectra's with the robot dog, and the Spectra's by herself with no earrings, and the Spectra's in by herself with earrings. So there's a couple of different versions out there, even though it only lasted a year. It's kind of interesting. So the next one we're going to go over is Style of Blue. So Style of Blue here, um, she's the African-American one, even though the rest of her body is all metallic. Uh, she has blue hair. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not her lacy ribbon that goes in her hair. It should be pink, but this is what it came with. Uh, lace pink lace stockings everything is pink on her very cute and then she has blue shoes for her so this is style of blue she is styling so she is named that because she's the outer space fashion leader go figure uh, she wears a short tier they, they show everything in this and then her uh, collector car reveals that her favorite food is shimmer on shimmer on pie a la mode so, and her favorite pastime is checking out the latest fashion trends on Earth. So that is her. Okay, style of blue. Very cool. Um, each of them also came with, so a collector's card, and they each came with a comb. So if you do see combs out there, uh, they have like a little, they're long, and they have like a, a swish and a star. Um, they are each for, for these guys, the Shimmerons. And their shoes are pretty unique as well. So they'll stand out from the Barbies as well. Um, it's definitely easier to dress these dolls as they have the slickest legs and arms, so they go right on versus getting stuck on the rubber legs like the Mattel Barbies. So it's definitely easy to dress them. Okay, so the next one we're going to go over is the last friend is Ultraviolet, and Ultraviolet um, is the cosmi cosmic beauty expert. Now she is missing missing a skirt. There's a little flurry, uh, fluffy skirt that goes around her waist, and then she's missing her violet shoes. Um, but this is her. Ultraviolet, there she is. And Ultraviolet, her she wears all that, and then her Shimmer on Collector car reveals her favorite food is galactic granola bars, and her favorite pastime is jogging through the galaxies. Very, very funny. So that's Ultraviolet. Okay, so that's those guys here. We're gonna go over um, Tom Comet. So this is Tom Comet. Now they are able to bend and you know move and stuff. They almost like twist around their arms, pretty much twist around too. Completely, no problems. You can sound, hear them that they're pretty creaky. And, and he's all, you know, flop, sometimes can be a little floppy. Uh, he's in his lacy outfit and metallic pants. They did have an outfit for him as well. So this is Tom Comet. And Tom Comet was a galactic sports fan and fix-it man. So he's, they call him the cute number one sports fan and fix-it man. Um, his collector car reveals that his favorite food is Shimmer on Space Dogs, and favorite pastime is meeting Earth Girls. So that's Tom Comet. Um, so yeah, with the with the dog. So when when wound up for the the dog uh, Spark, they say that um, when patted on the head, Spark rolls along the floor with open eyes, which close when he stops to rest. So, but then Spark Shimmer on collector card says that his favorite Shimmer on uh, food is Shimmer on Space Bits. And his favorite pastime is chasing Earth cats. Oh, so cute. So that is Spark. So going through the uh, my little book here real quickly, they had 12 uh, different box sets of clothing. So there's definitely a lot of clothing that you could have got for your dolls. There's 12 box sets. And then you could also get the Buffatron. <laughs> the Buffatron is right here. It's the bed. Now that one I have seen... Uh, eBay, uh, I think, that goes for a lot of money. Uh, a lot of people are getting into the Spectra dolls, and it can be pretty pricey. So the Buffatron, I will read quickly here. That one came out in 87 as well. Uh, the Buffatron features a pink fur bed with canopy that buffs and shines Spectra's shiny body uh, as she uses the built-in powder puff mirror and perfume sprayer. A hand mirror, cosmic comb, and shimmer collector card are included. So the Buffatron is out there. They also made one that was never released, they said. I'll show you that in one second. So they also released Space Magic Buffers and Fashion Selector. They have Space Magic Party Planner and Game Player. 
So I have those here, which is this little buffer. Now all these are wind up type things. So you wind them up and then pull the little side here. So this is a buffer because you know, they're metallic bodies. So you can buff them up. And that came with this item, which was the, you know, what, what should they wear, I think. Fashion selector has like different fashions inside there. You're supposed to wind this one, this one doesn't work. And pull it and spins, whatever it lands on, that's what they wear. So that came together in one box. And then the party game one was this one. So there's a little thing rolling around in the center, which should be on the fashion one. You wind this up and pull it. Oh man, this was working a second ago. Anyway, this spins as well. And then it gets to pick which one you're looking for. Uh, which party game you're going to play. And then this just spins as well. Okay, so that's part of the magic, Space Magic's Party Planner and Game Player uh, set. And those were uh, the little sets that they had for them. So the last thing that they didn't make um, was called the Selectron. Um, they showed it in the catalog, but it never reached the market, it says. So the Selectron is Spectra's closet where she sits in her swiveling chair, space chair, watching fashion colors appear on her computer screen while her fashion tree rotates. When the color she desires is on the screen, the computer is stopped and the matching fashion is at hand on the fashion tree. So yeah, very ahead of their times. And then the Shimron Travel Kit was advertised in all dolls packaging for one dollar. The child received a fabulous Shimron Travel Kit containing a map of exciting places between Shimron and Earth. Shimron tras a Passport with a sheet of stickers to show places visited, spe Spectra necklace, Shimmering Pink Star, child size Spectra glasses with red lenses, and a letter from Spectra. So, very uh, fun to find. So here is the Selectron, supposedly that was never released here. Um, it re kind of reminds me of the whole Clueless thing where she had a little computer screen, if you remember that Clueless movie. Um, remember a computer screen she had on there and then she would choose it and then her uh, closet would rotate until the, the right outfit came up. So that's pretty similar to that idea. And then there's the travel uh, thing you could have sent in for a dollar to get all that stuff. So very cool. So that is the Shimmer On line of toys from Mattel. Obviously, where they didn't weren't didn't last very long for some reason. Um, I don't really recall these guys. I just like I said, got these recently. So, but they are pretty neat to look at. Very lacy and spacey, and out of this world. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. A um, lot more toys to go from the '80s, and definitely more nostalgic items coming. So, thanks again.